Hey guys, uh, don't know if you've anybody's run into this problem, but I'm pretty sure some of you out there have. I've seen other videos on YouTube where basically things get caught and basically stops this drawer from closing completely. And usually it's DVDs. This is what I was able to get out of mine. And it shows from us trying to jam the drawer shut. <laughs> we kind of destroyed this DVD here. And here's some other DVDs that were caught in there that were just smashed from the drawer trying to be forced shut. Those DVDs are not broken. And some of them don't even have DVDs in them. Then this was in there as well. But basically what I did was I just used the drill here, oscillating saw, a couple of screwdrivers, and I was able to pry the top off this top. The top of this basically just pries off and it just fits back in once you get all done. Of course, this here has a cord that goes to it, and it's this cord here. All you have to do is just squeeze and pinch this and it'll come right out of the assembly here. And of course, some people may make a big deal about <laughs> having to cut. I use the oscillating saw to basically just cut a hole in here because if you don't, you'll have to go through a world of mess with taking both driving and passenger seats out and disassembling some of the floor just to get to the bolts up under here to take the seats out so basically all i did i just took a shortcut a hack if you call it and i just took my oscillating saw and i just cut a hole in here you're not going to see it because this stuff is going to be covering it up so instead of going through all that i don't have the time today i have to get the kids from school at a certain time so i just took my oscillating saw and cut a hole in here and I was able to dig all that stuff out. Now the drawer closes with no problem. And that's it. Now I got to take the time and put all this, this stuff back together. Appreciate it. I hope this video helped someone. All right. God bless.